guys, how you doing? This is Mark Caro. Welcome to the very first version of On Music. And uh, because it's the first version, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do a bonus episode uh, alongside this one uh, on a separate video. And we're going to talk about uh, some of the old act stuff. But in this first episode, what I want to kind of do is give you an intro to what we're going to be doing on this vlog. We're going to be talking about the music industry, the music business. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, maybe some things relative to music, like maybe get some interviews with guys in the, in the scene or actual musicians. And of course, I'm going to do some uh, outtakes on some of the stuff that I've recorded and uh, play some guitar for you guys. But in this first episode, I wanted to kind of go through uh, a little bit of an overview of the music business. And um, I'm going to go more in depth as we go along uh, in each video. And uh, But uh, the music business, yeah. Um, this may not be relative to everybody. I know guys that uh, are in the scene right now that are basically playing covers. Um, they, have real, they have a lot of fun with it. Um, they, you know, they spend a lot of time, you know, um, thinking about what songs they're going to play, and they always try to do they always try to do their best when they go out and uh, have have fun with it. You know, maybe they'll sell some T-shirts or something like that. But uh, what I'm going to talk about is um, more for the musician who wants to do a little bit more um, of the business. They want to sell records. They want to get their name out there, and they. Um, basically want to make a living out of playing music and um, and uh, original music uh, because there's some great tribute bands out there that make good money make a good living playing uh, playing music but I'm talking about original artists looking to record their own music and uh, get out there and maybe some guys just want to do you know um, they just they just want to be writers and, and license their music but anyway all in all it all comes down to the business and that's what I want to kind of talk about in some of these vlogs going forward today I'm going to give you just an overview of what I think you know my opinion is are the four pillars of, uh, of a music career and um, the first one is the business plan and the second one is branding third one is building a following and of course third and more fourth is most important making money so um, let's talk about the business plan really quick this is uh, basically uh, something you would write out before you even start you know your your project it would tell you basically uh, who you are what you want to do and where you want to go with your music some folks are really really happy just to keep it small just play coffee shops just I want to get their music out there and play and it's more of an artistic you know uh, sh to show what you're doing that type of thing but uh, some guys, uh, some girls want to take it uh, to the top. They want to, they want to be, you know, uh, have a number one hit in the country, and they want to tour, and they want to be big, and they want to be on every, you know, magazine and internet, uh, social media uh, format possible. So they want to go all the way to the top. So anyway, so there's two different things, but either one starts with a business plan. You kind of know what you're going to do, and you got to plan it out from the beginning. So basically, you kind of know your concept. Um, you got to know uh, who your target market is, and you got to go through all the things. There's tons of resources on how to make a marketing plan on the internet, so there's no excuse not to be able to create one, even a very simple one. Uh, secondly, uh, your branding. Uh, this is so critical. Um, branding is um, being able to tell in a very, very people be able to tell very in a very, very uh, quick glance. Uh, a little bit about you, you know. Um, for example, you, there, you, you can't have, um, you can't mix the two uh, concepts. If there's a uh, band out there that has a, a moniker, a name like um, Five Death Row, but they're playing country music, it just doesn't kind of go together. Um, it's kind of like you kind of have to sync everything together in a, in a nice package. And what you really want to do is you want to come off and show people who you are and really represent it in your brand and uh, you want to uh, you want to have a good brand you want to take care of your brand and um, part of that is protecting your brand so if you're on social media 
and you're out there, um, you know, spilling politics and, or maybe, you know, you're, you're mixing the two, you, you, you kind of want to protect your brand. You don't want to do anything to turn people off on, on who you are and what you do. It's matter of fact, it's, it, your brand is everything. So you want to do everything to develop it, protect it, and of course, build it. And uh, that's, and we'll get more into all of these four pillars as we go on in these, uh, in these vlogs. But uh, the third one is building a following, which is, of course, people would say, well, yeah, it's a no brainer. Yeah, you want to build a following. But building a following is, is more than just uh, putting up a Facebook page, you know, and trying to, you know, and trying to sell your stuff. There's a huge, huge task in this. A lot, a lot of work goes into building a following. And we'll get more into that. But, but basically, if you, if you're getting people to um, come to you, then you're building something there. If you're having to go chase folks all the time, there might be something wrong in your plan because it it should be something. Uh, your building following should be something that has um, has uh, some logic to it. So when you're out there getting going out there getting a following you'll want to have people also coming back so you you got to put it all together and we'll talk about that in more detail later and of course the fourth is making money how do you make money I hear people say so often um there's possible to make money in music today okay well somebody's making money I know who they are because I actually watch who's out there and so the fact that people are saying you can't make money in music is completely false. It's a lot different today, but if you think about it, you know, uh, a buggy and a carriage, you know, a buggy carriage and a horse were the way of transportation, but the car took over. So, yeah, the buggy business went out of business. Uh, there are a lot of them are gone now, but it was replaced with the car. And so new jobs were created, new ways of doing things were created. So there's, the music business has changed, but there's still ways to make money. There's still ways. You just got to adapt, and you got to be working hard to adapt. And there's ways to do that too. And we'll talk about we'll talk about that in more detail. But I often hear uh, even folks that I know in the region where I live and the money, the, the music folks around here, uh, continually say, if you're in it to make money, you're going to be very disappointed. Well. Just because they're not doing it and just because they're not making money doesn't mean you can't make money because people are making money in music. It's still a very lucrative industry for folks who know how to do it and they're doing it well. So that's the four things we're going to be looking at in this vlog and um, in the vlogs going forward. But most, most important is when you you have to have a business plan, you have to understand branding, you have to build your fund and you have to be concentrating on how you're going to make your money. So it's all part of the business plan, but it, it all works together. And if you're not working on one of those four all the time, then maybe you're, you're moving backwards, but you have to be working on one of those four all the time. And I'm really excited to bring this um, uh, business of music, knowledge of whatever you know, and, and there's tons of resources on the internet of folks who are really smart at it. So there's no excuse not to be able to uh, incorporate a business plan, uh, a branding plan, a following, building a following plan and a making money plan in, into, your, uh, into your business uh, of making music. So uh, we'll keep, like I said, we'll, we'll get into more, more detail of this later, but I wanted to invite you to please send questions um, at uh, uh, thesharksound.gmail.com. Uh, uh, that's again the shark sound at gmail.com send your questions I'd love to hear from you um, give me your comments I know this video is very very general it's, it's we haven't started what we need to do yet but we just gonna get an overview of what we're going to be doing in the future and uh, we're looking forward to doing this and to sharing everything with you guys and uh, anyway so that's the first uh, vlog for today. We're real simple straight to the point but we're gonna get more into detail later and we look forward to hearing from you guys uh, comment and let me know what you're thinking and uh, and uh, don't worry about insulting me because uh, I'm pretty thick-skinned so uh, if your comment is really bad I'll just delete you all right thanks and we'll see you in the next vlog and we don't forget we got a special bonus vlog coming up for you guys uh, just because it's the initial uh, kick it off vlog we're gonna do a special bonus one for you in a, in a new vlog coming up okay all right thanks I'll talk to you guys later see you soon